Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this USB SD and micro SD holder uploaded by Lalo Solo. First thing we do is go down to developer notes, see if they have any specifications. And they say no rafts, no supports, resolution of 0 0.5 and an infill of 10%. So that's easy enough. Once you're ready, you're gonna click on this download all files up here. You should get a folder similar to this with only one STL. So all you have to do is click and hold on the STL and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice and give it a few seconds to render up. Once it's finished loading in, you should see the holder just like this. Now we'll take this step by step and first go to the profile section up here. I want to select the layer height. The developer says use a layer height of 0.5 millimeters. The most 3D printers use a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, so you probably won't have that. So just select the lowest quality you have. In uh, my case, it's 0.28 millimeters, so click on that. If this pops up, click on discard. Next, we're going to go to the infill tab, which is right here. And where it says infill density, we're going to change that down to 10%. So hit 10% there. Next, we're going to go to support. Now, there's no supports needed for this model, so we're gonna make sure this is unchecked. Next is build plate adhesion, AKA the rafts the developer was talking about. We don't need any of that, so make sure that's set to skirt or to none. And after that, we're set. All you have to do now is hit the slice button down here and give it a few seconds to slice. Once it's finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly three hours and 59 minutes, but that will depend on your printer and the settings that you used, as well as a estimated filament usage of 37 grams. Now we always preview the print and take a look around the model, see if anything weird or funky is going on. And everything looks pretty good, so all you have to do is save the file and send it over to your printer. Here's the model straight off the print bed. Surprisingly, there's nothing else you have to do with it. It's completely clean and crisp. There's no stringing, no zits, nothing like that. It's basically perfect as it is straight off the print bed. The only thing that scared me when printing this model was that, is this going to scratch my SD cards and my USBs? And the truth is that most of these cards just fall in themselves. So you don't have to force it in or squish it in. It, they literally just stand where they are, they, they fall in basically. So if you were to flip this over, they would fall out. So you shouldn't be worried about them getting scratched from this model. A very well made model and will recommend it for anybody who has a lot of SD and USBs.